Well, I, I just actually completed a, a project that I came up with in 2016 or 15. Um, it was called Third Eye, and it was a TV show that I loved so much, and it did not sell. And for years, it still was in the back of my mind that I had to get it made. And when I got the opportunity to pitch it to Audible, and they said, sure, go make this long-form, six-hour comedy, uh, I jumped in and I wrote it over COVID. It's been kind of four years in the making, so it's a really long time. But you're right, as an artist, there's some things you just won't let go of you or you can't let go of. And this one is it. It's about a chosen one who fails and has this girl come into her life and kind of blow it up. It has Neil Gaiman and Will Wheaton and Sean Astin, London Hughes, uh, uh, Weird Al does a cameo, tons of cameos everywhere. You guys, uh, if you like anything uh, that's, if you like my writing, if you listen to The Guild or my, and my books, you'll definitely like this and you can get it on Audible right now. So that is one project I definitely wouldn't let go of and I made it happen. And it was very hard to make happen, but I did it. Um, there's another graphic novel that I had written like four years ago that I just got out and I'm gonna be working on that next year. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. I have another graphic novel that's coming out. I'm working on uh, The Guild. So The Guild is something that I've always, I love, I own it. And it's my baby, but I haven't done anything with it in several, several years. And so I'm kind of, kind of hopefully explore that next year in like maybe a musical, like for stage. So we'll see, you know, it's definitely on the list and I have some amazing songs already written by some amazing songwriters. So um, just, you know, I think right now, I went through a lot with my company, Geek & Sundry. It was wonderful, and I, but I tended to, I started working behind the scenes more than in front of the scenes. I was making opportunities for other people, and I'm very grateful for that opportunity, making amazing projects and creating a really cool shows. But at the end of the day, I wasn't really, I didn't have the bandwidth to make my own stuff or be a performer myself anymore, and it made me pretty unhappy. And so... I took a couple years off from leaving that company and now I just really focused on making my own stuff and being a performer and writer. And, uh, I'm really super happy about it. So I hope all that stuff comes out soon, but Third Eye you can get right now at Audible. Thank you for that. Thank you for that.